Uh, we're actually facing the digitization in uh, the shipping industry, which is becoming a major challenge. What exactly is your view on this and how will the industry receive the uh, turn to digitalization? Okay, uh, digitization for sure is a challenge. It's not something that's easy to do. Uh, it's not something that's, I don't believe there are easy wins or quick wins as we discussed a little bit earlier on. Uh, it's, it's a long journey, we have to start it. You have to have support and, and you have to have management and you have to show leadership and you have to drive it through the whole organization. It's not something that you can just go install a system and expect to get results. What is the importance of the mentality between uh, the crews as well as the officer, um, uh, people who work back and they just need to share the information gathered by the digitization process? I, th I think that is, we have to recognize that people don't like change very, very easily. Um, and I think that it's also realistic to, to know that the guys on the ships have quite a lot of work to do. So whatever you do, you have to you have to make sure that there's no negative impact on, on their work and, and no additional workload. And if they see benefits, then I believe that you can win them over and you can get them to be involved in the, in the whole process. Navigation, a major issue when traveling by sea, especially when you're carrying uh, such uh, an important uh, load. So where do you see that the navigation is going in terms of the digitalization process? I think navigation, as you said, uh, we talk about it inside as well, it's, it's one of the key issues, maybe the most important, you can't say that, but it's very, very high impact. Um, safety, of course, is, is the top priority for all, of, for all of the tanker operators, including ourselves. I think uh, navigation, uh, it will continue, there will still be a need to, to match and integrate the traditional practices of looking out of the window, um, together with the new information that's provided and I think that whatever we do we have to make sure that we keep it simple so the information that we give to our officers on the watch it's in a simplified format so that they can easily cross-check and, and, and work together with what they see and what they see in front of them on the screens and what they see out the windows. Can you actually see any major advantage and disadvantage in the digitization process? Um, in the process itself, yeah, I think that you, you can learn what the information you don't need. Traditionally, I believe a lot of companies, they take a lot of information back from the ships and they have a lot of information internally within the organizations. Finally, with digitization, you can see what information you actually use and then you can actually simplify your processes and hopefully make your organizations more efficient. Mm -hmm. Any minors or any disadvantages in this? Uh, it's a lot of work. It's not an easy process to do, and uh, you know it's it's not straightforward. So you will have to give resources. You will have to give time, and and it's it's not something that starts today and is finished tomorrow. What about the dangers of digitization uh, when it comes to cybersecurity? Uh, it's a big concern. It's a big concern for us, and it's a big concern for our charters. Um, we have to make sure that we create all of the barriers, uh, we put all of the things in place to make sure that we don't have cybersecurity incidents. So far, shipping has been, let's say, not one of the main targets for cybersecurity, but there are big concerns that it could be something that, will, that, that can be attacked in the future. So we have to be ready from now. Finally, a comment on the Capital Link Forum, the one that you're actually participating in today. Okay, uh, it's very good. It's a great opportunity to get a lot of industry people together and discuss these things and I think we can all take something positive from it.